Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing the trailer breakdown for Episode 4, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be going over this trailer. Remember, if you haven't checked out my review for last night's episode, Episode 3, please be sure to go check it out. It's just up on the channel, along with my Superman Lois video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this trailer breakdown. So, Episode 4, this is the first official episode past the Season 6 storyline, because as you guys know, last episode was supposed to be the finale of Season 6, and now this would have been the official premiere of Season 7, had things turned out how they normally do, right? So, different circumstances led to this being Episode 4 rather than Episode 1, and I think they did a really good job with Episode 1, the premiere, it was really, really good. And so, I'm looking forward to seeing this episode, although it does seem more like a filler episode. Whereas episode 1 this season was really action-packed, and that was because they were leading up to the climax of the season. So this episode is basically just going to be kicking off the season, I don't think they're going to introduce anything too important, they may touch on some of the stuff that happened last episode, including the Speed Force Lightning, which I did explain properly in my review last night, so go check that out if you want a proper explanation. But let's move on to the first shot of the trailer, and so the first shot of the trailer, we've seen this in the Heart trailer recently, so we did get a first look at Abracadabra like a couple of weeks ago, when they released that kind of episode 3, episode 4, and episode 5 trailer where they mix everything up. But now this is just a solo trailer for next episode. Okay, so in this first shot you see a crime scene because there is the police line there and Barry is being assisted by Cisco and Chester. Most of the time when Cisco turns up to a crime scene, it's something meta related. So this is definitely to do with a meta attack. And so later in the evening, it seems at a similar place, we see this shot from behind Abracadabra. So he is back, he has a magic wand. So Cisco in the trailer says, what's up with your new toys? So it seems like Abracadabra has had an upgrade. He is basically more OP than he was before. I mean, he was pretty OP. However, he was defeated in one episode, and he's probably going to be defeated again in this episode as well. But let's move on to the next shot. So we got Barry here, and he says, Kadabra picked the wrong day to come back, because he's going to defeat him, and Barry is very determined to get rid of all these threats. I guess he's just kind of fed up with, like, what's happened with Eva. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of time jump in this episode, because... Are they going to try and catch up to the present day, say this is set in 2021? Because last episode is still set in 2020 and it's just a continuation from season 6. So I'm curious to see if there is going to be some sort of time gap between last episode and this episode. Well, let's move on to the next thing. So we got this shot, Abracadabra is turned around from that shot before. And you can see his magic wand better here. And so it's kind of got a glowing red top and it's just like all black, I'm guessing. It's something meta related, however it could definitely be something in terms of technology and maybe they're able to disarm it at some point with the help of Cisco. and maybe that's why Cisco is out helping Barry in a couple of these scenes. But yeah, so Barry is attacked by Abracadabra, he pulls out his wand and gives him threats and so he's like a magician never reveals his secrets and I'm not sure if that's in reply to Cisco's line in the trailer about his new toys. But I'm guessing this is more questioning his line of thoughts and why is he back and what is his plans and he's like a magician never reveals his secret so he's not going to say anything. Okay so we got this cool shot inside of Star Labs, Barry slides in and his Speed Force Lightning is trailing behind him. Obviously Barry has his powers back, he's got a fully functioning connection to the natural Speed Force meaning that he's going to be incredibly powerful once again. And this was all due to last episode, what happened with Iris, and Iris turned out to be Lightning Rod, and that is how the Speed Force is still around. So, I guess some people were a bit unsure about that explanation. However, I think it's fine, like, we had to get Barry back to his normal speed. Like, Barry can't just be losing his speed all the time, because that would cause a big issue, because the show is called The Flash after all, not Barry Allen. But yeah, so let's move on to the next shot. We've got this. I'm presuming this is something to do with what's happening with Abracadabra. I don't know if you guys could tell anything more, but yeah, I couldn't really understand what was going on there. However, we go over back outside. Cisco is suited up in his new vibe suit. We saw him suiting up in it last episode, 
and we know that he doesn't have his powers back but he is going to be going out as a superhero as vibe and he's using technology to basically shoot vibe blasts so that was a neat twist last episode and that's going to continue on forward okay so we got another shot of abracadabra in that same scene talking to barry this is their confrontation and i'm presuming this is one whole big encounter with cisco and barry because you see multiple shots that look kind of similar to what's going on in this but we go back to the night scene and we've got Abracadabra using his wand and he's attacking someone. So I don't know if this is Barry or not because it does seem like Barry and Cisco confront him in the night. So maybe this is the instance and the crime that alerts Team Flash of his arrival. And they show up to the crime scene the next morning and they're like, this is the MO of Abracadabra, so he must be back. They always do something along those lines and I totally think that is going to happen. Okay, so we've got Cisco being attacked by Abracadabra and so this is a different color to the red light we keep on seeing in this trailer that comes from his wand. So I'm presuming maybe he's using a different wand or he can like cast different spells. I don't know if it's an actual meta thing or if it's literally he's programmed his wand to do this. Well, it's very powerful because Barry is here and it seems like Barry's in meta cuffs so he's unable to run away and Cisco has just been blasted back so I'm presuming Barry is just about to get blasted. So Abracadabra definitely has the upper hand and it seems like his fight against Barry is not going to end very well for Barry and so just right after that we have Iris screaming Barry. So it does seem like it's not going to be a good deal for Barry because he is in these meta cuffs and Cisco just got shot back. So that means that he is probably going to get taken by him. So kidnapped and probably taken to what happens next. Because it does seem like in this next shot he is spectating over what Abracadabra is doing. Because he's literally standing right behind him. Abracadabra is doing some sort of spell. You see that sphere up in the air. The CGI red sphere. And he is doing something that is going to cause Central City to disappear. Because the line of dialogue he says is, Now for my last trick, make your whole city disappear. So I don't know if Barry is here a captive or not, but I doubt if he could do anything and if he could like speed him away and like punch him doing that five mile run or anything like that. I'm sure he wouldn't just stand behind. So yeah, I totally think that he's got the upper hand and Barry is just spectating him, literally waiting for a city to fall. So yes, that is what they say in the dialogue from my last trick, make your whole city disappear. And so that is on this shot of Barry and he seems shocked at what's about to happen because how is he going to make the whole city disappear? Is Central City in desperate need of help? I think Team Flash is gonna come to Barry's help because it doesn't seem like Barry is going to be able to get away by himself. And I think it's going to be pretty hard to take him down. Also, it must be noted in the behind the scenes photos for this episode, we saw a very similar thing to what they shot with for CGI blood work. So a while back last season, when they are out shooting in public, they would have like a stand in who was really tall and was wearing this like funky suit. And so we saw this same suit when they were filming episode four of season seven. So this very episode. So I'm wondering, does Bloodwork come back and does he work with Abracadabra or is Bloodwork somehow just showing up because of what Abracadabra is doing or is Bloodwork working with the Flash? So I'm kind of confused why he was around. I mean, it could have been a totally different person. It might be they're just using that same suit and they're going to CGI something else over. So maybe what they CGI is something to do with his new magic tricks. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So we get a few reaction shots. You've got Chester in the cortex and you've also got Caitlyn. And they look rather shocked at what they're seeing. And I think that is definitely because Barry is being beaten by Abracadabra. And so you actually see that thing that I was talking about earlier. So on the left, it seems like this is some sort of device. And so Barry is over here getting shot by Abracadabra's wand. He's shooting red energy like the energy scene when Voldemort shoots Harry in Harry Potter. So I definitely think that is a direct reference to that. But that device definitely is something about his whole plan to make the whole city vanish. I don't know what it specifically is right now. So you get like just a continued bit of this scene and you see Abracadabra shooting into the air and it's beans and Barry looks up and then you have the final shot of the trailer and Barry looks completely shocked. So basically Abracadabra's plan for the city is going to be quite devastating unless Team Flash can stop him. But the overall gist of the episode is this was supposed to be the main premiere for the season. However, I think they probably toned down the big 
twists and reveals to start off the season because it is episode 4 and they are continuing on from three prior episodes and yes it is the premiere episode as they intended however they specifically said that they've changed some of the storylines and some of the episodes because of things being reshuffled so i wouldn't say see this as a premiere episode but more as like a kind of restart to the season and you're going to get new stories starting off with this filler episode seeing a major villain return from the past obviously he's not like the biggest villain he was never a big bad he did show up and he did play an important part in season three and we haven't seen him since so it's very exciting to see Abracadabra back but he isn't a huge huge character and he's only going to be in for this one episode but that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos big Supergirl videos coming tomorrow because they just released the first look photos and a new poster for Supergirl season 6 which premieres in 13 days time so exciting stuff right now but if you didn't catch my latest videos, go over and check them out. That is my Flash review for last episode and Superman Lois's last episode as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see